I, I told, uh, I sat down with he and Ryan Harrow, and I told them they need to start working out together. They need to be in practice early together. They need to be in after practice together, and kind of doing what Nowitzki and, and Steve Nash did, where they did their workouts together, and they got real comfortable with each other on the court, especially late game. You're talking two guys that are going to have their hands on the ball a lot. And um, so we just had that talk um, about five days ago. Al compared Kyle to Dirk Nowitzki and Ryan to Jason Terry or Steve Nash. Do you see any of their games in each other? Yeah, I think that I can, I can see that a little bit. Kyle has been shooting the ball unbelievable. And I think that his confidence has even gone up more than last year, and, and Ryan's really crafty with the ball. So I think that I can see those comparisons. Yeah, I can. You know, Ryan's just a great passer, and then Kyle does kind of play like Dirk a little bit. You know, he's tall and shoot, real, shoot it very well. Yeah, because he shoots it. And <laughs> he can shoot it, and so um, he'll be a lead. He is going to be lethal on the pick and pop roll situations. To uh, you know, and he has a nice post up game to get off of dice little fadeaways, and he knocks him down. I think he thinks he's Dirk playing open gym, all those step backs and stuff. But no, I actually do see a lot of Dirk and Kyle. Yeah, definitely. He can <laughs> he can shoot the mess out of the ball, uh, and uh, he makes a lot of shots. Uh, whether that be when we're in our little workouts or in, in open gym. He makes a ton of shots, and he's very a very skilled big man. Uh, and you don't see many people at his size that can shoot the ball like he does. And so I definitely can see it. Yeah, he got some dirt in him. I never really thought about that, but he really do. He yeah, with his moves and all that. Definitely, especially in, in Kyle. When you, you know, that I never really thought about it like that, but, you know, Kyle does play like dirt. I mean, he shoots, you know, he sh everybody knows him. I mean, he shoots lights out, and, you know, he's good in the post. A good 15 footer. I mean, it's and then, you know Ryan. Ryan's Ryan. I don't. I don't. I can't explain how Ryan is. Ryan's just crazy. <laughs> like his ball handling is just nuts. Me and Kyle pretty much have a good bond already because you know we were both here last year and we played with each other a lot in practice because we were on the second team. So we know what we like to do on the court. Like I was telling a few people, I could just run down the floor and know that he's behind me. I don't even have to look. I could just throw it right behind me, and he's going to be there to catch it and shoot it or do whatever he has to do. Can you almost feel where he is on the court? Yes, yeah, it's, it's almost like we've been playing together for a long time because we play so much together last year, and every time we're in the open gym, we play on the same team, and it's, it's just a natural thing for us now. Kyle's just extremely humble. You know, Kyle's a great guy, and he's never going to say that, you know, especially with Dirk. You know, Dirk's is you know, an amazing player. So I don't think he's going to compare himself to, you know, you know, you know amazing player in, in the league being you know, a sophomore in college. Uh, I mean, that's an honor to be considered uh, like someone that of that caliber. But uh, I like to define my own game, and uh, I like to be versatile as possible. So that's why I keep just working on many parts of my game in the post and outside as well. So no one leg fadeaway? <laughs> <laughs> and I, I have that a little bit, but, uh, I mean, I, I got a lot of moves, and it's just whatever I need to do, just try to do it.